everyone welcome and welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut up shoulder bustier with zip in front and what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist measurements hip and our top length our shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches our bust is 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our waist is 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 our hip is 40 inches 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 11.5. Our top length is 20 inches. 20 plus 2 uh, for our sewing allowance, we have 22 inches. So these are the measurements required to cut off shoulder bustier with zip in front. And of course, we are going to start with our pattern paper. This pattern paper is available at our store and one thing about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long, it's actually very very long and it also comes in a bundle. So I'm going to put down the details of this pattern paper in the description box below. So visit our Facebook page, City Designs, and also our website where you can also find interesting fashion topics. All the details are going to be in the description box and also we made this one shoulder top here i'm going to go ahead and put down the link just in case you want to make one shoulder gown kindly give this video a thumbs up like share what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements shoulder to bust to up or nine and a half shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 and a half and our top length is 22 inches so i'll go ahead with my pattern master which is available at our store i'll connect the lines together go ahead and label our lines our arm or bust under bust waist and top length so the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and mark our that measurement which is four inches we mark four inches on the waistline we mark four inches and half inch on both sides and we connect it together now once we are done with that we are going to go ahead and extend this that line that is this third that line up to our shoulder measurement because we want to get bustier also so we connect it once you are done with that on your under bust mark half inch on both sides mark half inch on both sides and we go ahead and connect it together And we are going to use this curved part of our pattern master to connect it. And pattern drafting training are available, both online and physical training. So once we are done with that, on our shoulder line, we will mark five inch or five and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and mark five and a half inches. And I will connect it to my bust point. then i will go ahead and close it up this way i'll close it up now on our bust line go ahead and mark your bust measurements which is 11 inches we mark our bust 11 inches our waist 10.5 and on the top length, I'll mark my hip measurements, which is 11.5. So I'll go ahead with my tape, shoulder that. So this is what we have. Now we'll mark our shoulder measurements, which is seven inches. Because 
what we want to do is off shoulder what we want to do is off shoulder you are going to determine how many inches you want to take off the number of inches you take off determine how low your off shoulder is going to be so i'll go ahead and connect my lines together now using Curve, which also comes in the complete set of our pattern drafting tool I will connect it together I will connect my shoulder measurement to my bust measurement so for my off shoulder I want to take away five and a half inches note that it depends on you so I'll go in with five and a half inches that is how deep i want the neckline to be so at this five and a half inches i will connect with a straight line now because this is off shoulder on this my straight line i will make sure i have my shoulder measurement which is seven inches so i have my shoulder measurement here which is seven inches i will go ahead and connect this my shoulder measurement to my bust measurement using a slant curve i will connect it together this way so this becomes this becomes our off shoulder curve so this is what it looks like i will go ahead and cut this out i'll go ahead and cut that neckline okay i want to achieve a sweeter neckline i will go ahead and curve this part to give me my sweet art neckline so i'll go ahead and cut it out this sweet art neckline i will open up my shoulder dart and cut out my dart this is what we have for the front block for our off shoulder so i'll set this aside and we move to the back block so my back block the first thing i'm going to do for my back block is to go ahead and mark my basic measurement which is shoulder to arm o nine and a half inches shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to my under bust seven sets 13 and a half shoulder to my waist 17 inches and we have our top length so i'll go ahead and connect it with my pattern master that one's one inch and i'll connect it all the way this is for my zip allowance now the next now this go ahead and mark four inches for my dart and on the waistline, I will mark half inch on both sides and I will connect it together. Now, once you are done with that, you determine how many inches you want it to be off. So for the front, we made this of five and a half inches. We are also going to mark our five and a half inches here and we extend it. On that line, mark your shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. On our bust point, we'll mark our bust measurement, which is 11 inches. On our waist, we'll mark our waist measurement, which is 10.5. And on our top length, we mark 11 inches. We'll go ahead and connect this together. So the, the next thing we are going to do is to slant this upper part. And of course, for the neckline of the back, I want it to be straight. So I'll go ahead and cut back block look like. And for the front, we have two pieces for the front. So I'll go ahead and this of this African fabric. I'll go ahead and fold it into two. I'll place the back block i'll place the back block on it now i'm going to do now is i folded my fabric into two i folded the fabric into two and i placed my back block on it now because this is going to our zip is going to be in front and not at the back our zip is going to be in front and not at the back so we are going to eliminate our zip allowance 
because our zip is in front and not the back so we are going to eliminate it what we are just going to do is to go ahead and fold it out so we've taken away our zip allowance and then we place it on our fabric which is folded into two so i'll go ahead and cut this is what we have we have a single piece for the back block and you can see because the fabric has pattern you can see the way we followed the pattern for the back block so we we'll set this aside front block we are going to fold our fabric into two we are folding our fabric into two and this is our middle piece this is our middle piece where we have the center fold our middle piece where we have the center fold and we'll go ahead and place it this way now you can see that i did not place it at this part why because it's going to have zip allowance at the front because it's having zip in the front and not at the back so you are going to add your zip allowance to your center front when you are placing it on your fabric that is like the easiest way to achieve it so i'll go ahead and check my inches i left about one and a half inches for my zip allowance one and a half inches for my zip allowance i'll go ahead and cut this out so this is it we've cut it out we've cut that so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and notch where our middle block is starting from now the reason why we are going to notch it is that we can know where we are going to use to fix our zip so we just notch it a little just to indicate where our basic block starts from and we'll go ahead and open it up to give us like two pieces because of our zip allowance so this is what we have now this is what we have and this is how it's going to look like so our zip will come in here in front so we'll go ahead and set this aside our fabric into two and we place our side block on our fabric we place our side block on our fabric and then we'll go ahead and cut this out for the side we are going to have two pieces for the side this for the front block and also we have two pieces this way so this is what this is how it's going to look like so the next thing we are going to do so we are going to have like these four pieces for the front block and cut out our lining the lining we are going to fold it into two and just cut it out like the same way with the front block now because we are going to turn our lining inside it simply means that our lining is going to be shorter than the main fabric our lining is going to be shorter than the main fabric with two inches now why is it two inches because we added two inches for our sewing allowance at the lower part of the main fabric so we'll go ahead and fold out where we have our allowance we have our allowance so we folded out the inches for our, our allowance and then we place it this way so we we'll go ahead and cut this is what it's going to look like you can see that it is shorter than the main fabric so we set that as allowance we also take it out then we place our uh, place it a sleeve which we are going to use for which we are going to use so the top our sleeve length is 24 inches now how to cut your off shoulder sleeve that will fix into your off shoulder top you minus the inches we took away for the top which is five and a half i have five and a half outside the fabric and our sleeve length is 24 inches i will go ahead and mark 24 inches so my round sleeve which is 12 inches divided by two i have six inches but i want to put elastic at the lower part of it so i'm going to add additional five inches 
I'm going to add additional five inches because I want to fix in elastic. So how to get this part? You put your five and a half inches outside. Our shoulder to our arm O is nine and a half inches. You mark where you have nine and a half inches. Now the five and a half inches we used for the five and a half inches we used for our off shoulder. You mark it at this upper part. The five and a half we used you mark it at this upper part now because i also want to fix in elastic at this upper part i'm going to increase it with five inches i'm going to increase this with five inches so i'm going to have my slant coming this way the same way we fixed in our slant for the top and i connect it to my sleeve length so this is what we have i'll go ahead and cut this after cutting it out this is what it's going to look like you can see where you have your arm o for the sleeve and you mark your five inches which is the inches we took away but because i want to add elastic i went ahead to add another five inches to it and you mark your round sleeve but because i also want to fix in elastic i added my five inches to it so we are going to fix in this sleeve with our off shoulder and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve that. go ahead and stitch the lower part because our lining is shorter than the fabric the first thing you have to do is to go ahead and stitch this lower part so after stitching it after stitching it you are going to pull it this way can you see it you pull it this way that is you are pulling it up you are pulling it up so that it can meet up with this neckline so I'll go ahead and stitch the side. I'll stitch this side, the both sides, and I'll stitch the neckline. The arm O, because the arm O is open, we will use it and turn it pieces. So we'll take two sides first. Now we'll go ahead and iron our wording. Now this wording has a shiny part and a smooth part. So this shiny part will be glued to the fabric the shining parts to the fabric this way go ahead and stitch it together like this starting from the lower side all the way in it this is what you have for one side you can see the way it's puffed out so you go ahead and trim off the excess you have here You can see your bustier coming. You can see your bustier for one side. So we set this aside and we take the other side of the front block. Place your wording on your bust. Place your wording, the shining parts, and then you go ahead and stitch it. So this is what we have. You can see it. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and do the same for the lining. So we we'll take in on your fabric. Then you first stitch this lower part. The lower part is going to come up this way. Then we go ahead and stitch the sides get out so we are going to have three pieces now so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and iron them properly i'm going to take the sleeve now i'm going to go ahead and fix in my um, elastic to the sleeve this is the upper part of the sleeve i'll fold it into two this way then i'll go ahead and stitch it fixing the half inch elastic So I'll fold it, I'll go ahead and stitch it, go ahead and use the round sleeve to get, so you can see our sleeve is coming out, back block which is ironed, we'll go ahead and fold it into two, our dart measurement which is four inches, we mark four inches this way. 
we mark four inches then we also mark four inches that is what we used for the dart so we'll go ahead and sew our dart which is ironed already so this is the front block we are going to have our front block now the two pieces of our front block and we are going to go ahead and fix in our zipper to the front front block so you can see our bustier and you can also see the zip in front so we are going to place our back block on it and we go ahead and use our measurements that is our bust measurement and our waist measurement we'll go ahead and use it to couple up this top so the one part of your sleeve this is our sleeve we are going to fix it to the back block this way we'll fix it to the back block and then we'll sew this other part to the front block so i'll go ahead and stitch that side you can see the next thing we are going to go ahead and do is to close up the sides so i'll go ahead and stitch it all the way making use of our bust tip in front looks like you can see the off shoulder you can see our bustier effect and our zip is in front and you can also see our sweetheart neckline at the front if you find this video very educative don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye